to my channel and thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Amrita Jambal and I make lifestyle and motherhood videos. Um, today's video is a fun one. It's a holiday related video. Um, it's a woman's gift guide. So if you're stuck on what to get the woman in your life, um, I'm here to help you out. So I have gifts that are in all different price ranges and can go for really anybody. So if you're looking for a gift for your girlfriend, your friend, your um, mom, your sister, this can really go for um, a lot of different groups. Um, so I'm excited to bring them to you. Um, before we start, don't forget to click that red subscribe button if you're not subscribed already and hit that thumbs up so I can keep making videos like this for you guys. All right, so let's get started. The first item I have is a tumbler. Um, yeah, so women like tumblers. I know it's really weird. Um, I drink a lot more water now because I have a cute tumbler. Um, and you can find really cute tumblers at Starbucks, um, Target, just a lot of different places. Um, the one that I'm gonna show you today is from Starbucks. So it's this cute white, it's like a white and pink sparkly Starbucks tumbler and I thought this was so cute and um, I just fill this up with water and I just keep filling it up because I don't know I just it helps me drink more water I know it starts sounds so strange but um, yeah it's just a sparkly little pink tumbler I believe this one is 20 bucks and I got it from the Starbucks inside of a Target it's a cute present to give even if you want to just have like a, a smaller present or if you want to put it in like a basket full of other things um, I think this is super cute so tumblers are definitely a cute gift idea. So I have two, three different, I think I only have two different hair things, but um, if your girlfriend, your friend, or your wife, or whoever doesn't have one of these yet, oh my God, you need to get her one. This is the Revlon, um, I think it's called like a one-step blow dryer or something, but it's basically um, a blow dryer, a straightener, a brush, all in one. So when your hair is damp, or whoever's hair is damp, they just kind of like give themselves a blowout. Um, I don't recommend using this on like wet, wet hair. Your hair has to be like, for me, I like use this when it's like 75% dry. Um, but yeah, I uh, really love this tool. You, you, your hair will look great, you'll have volume. And I'm not like a person that can give herself good blowouts. So this really helped me. Um, my hair look healthy and it looks fresh um, and clean and it's time saving. I think this is about like 50 bucks. So um, yeah, it's called the Revlon One Step Blow Dryer. And again, everything that I am listing will be, um, everything that I'm talking about will be listed down below with the link as well, so. All right, so next is a hair wand or a hair curler. It is the T3 One Inch Wand. So I bought this separately because they do sell this separate. So this is what I brought and then I had to buy this separately, but they do come in bundles, so you can get a bundle with three different ones in it. Um, a smaller one, I think it's like half an inch, one inch, and then a one and a half inch. Um, and they also have curlers. Um, if your person is more of like a curler person, or if you wanna get this for yourself and you want and you like the curl look instead of the wavy look, um, I definitely recommend this because there's so many different attachments that they can play around with once they have it. And this curler, guys, it's the best curler I've ever used. It heats up fast, it holds a curl, it, um, I feel like it's cut my actual waving time in half because before when I used to wave my hair, I'd have to hold it for a longer time. Uh, but this one, it's like half of that time and it comes out beautiful looking, um, great. And you can use this on like second, third day hair and your and it still looks good. So I definitely recommend this. It is a pricier item. It is a pricier wand um, or curler, whatever you want it to be because of the different attachments. Um, but yeah, it's, I definitely recommend it, especially if you know they're like a hair person. Um, they'll definitely know what T3 is and they'll definitely be excited to receive this um, as a gift. I know I would have been super excited and I wouldn't have wasted all that money on like cheaper alternatives when really this is all I needed. And I believe this is like about I mean, it adds up. I think this and the one is like close to 150, 175 or something like that. But you, there's so many different options, so I'll list um, that below as well. All right, next I have fragrance. Fragrance is always a really good gift to give, um, especially if you know the general, general types of perfumes that this person wears, if they like more of a floral scent or more of like 
uh, you know, a deeper musky scent, a vanilla scent. Um, I definitely recommend fragrance. This YSL perfume, Vibre, is one of my favorite perfumes for the fall winter. Um, I am a floral person, but like when it comes to like the colder months, I like to have more of like a warmer feel, a warmer smell. It smells so good, guys. It's very warm and musky, um, but it's not like too musky either. I don't know how to explain it. just smells really good. And the bottle is super cute. So if you're looking for like a cute bottle to put on your um, vanity, I definitely recommend this. Um, and there's gift sets going on right now. If you might definitely recommend this YSL Libre perfume. It's been my favorite for the past few months. So speaking of smell and fragrance and all that, I went to Bath and Body Works. Um, I went the day before Thanksgiving because they were they started their Black Friday early. It's basically buy three get three free, um, and I don't know what they're having right now, but they're always having sales. Their candle day is always in December, and then I think their candles are like seven bucks or something, or I don't know. They're like super cheap, but um, I didn't want to wait that long. Candles are always a great gift for anyone. I mean, this is a, on the board for you know your girlfriend, your mom, your mother-in-law they're the ones that i like i just don't like the sweet smells um i like more of like the warm nice tones i don't know what when, when it comes to candles um so sweater weather is in classic and i really like the packaging this year because it's not just like on the front it's all around packaging um of little snowflakes so it's so it will go so cute with christmas decor um and it's just that classic smell this smells so good, guys. This has been one of my favorite candles for so many years. It just, it smells so good. And the, and the notes on this are fresh, fresh sage, berry, eucalyptus, woods with essential oils. So I don't know, it's just a really great all around smell. Still have a lot of my fall candles. So I only got three, I only brought six because I didn't wanna like get carried away since I already have candles for my fall that I haven't burned yet, so. Um, Tis the season. And this smells very, it smells more like cinnamon and deep. Let me see if cinnamon's a, a note in here. Rich apple, sweet cinnamon, cedarwood, yeah. So it's like a classic, that classic winter smell. This one doesn't have like that cute packaging. It just kind of says, Tis the season on the front. But it's still cute. I like the color of the candle. It's a little bit of a deeper maroon. All right, my next candle is flannel. And this, I think, is close to like a, Oh my god, guys, this smells so good. I thought it was kind of like mahogany teakwood, but it's not. It's more. It, it it's not as okay. You know how if you're a can if you're a bathroom work bad work candle person, you know mahogany teakwood smells like a man. This one smells not as intense as mahogany teakwood. It's kind of like a mix of mahogany teakwood and sweather weather. Like I don't know if that makes sense. If you're if you're a bathroom body works person, you know what I'm talking about, but. It smells really good, guys. The notes on this are bergamot, heirloom, mahogany, soft musk with essential oils. All right, my next candle is, oh no, I got two flannels. I didn't even realize I got two flannels. What? I was in such a hurry because I didn't want to be in the store for that long just with everything going on right now. Okay, well, I like this scent, so that's good to have two. I can have both of them burning at the same time, so. Um, but the packaging, even though they have the same candles, they have different packagings. Um, this one is kind of just like a dark green, plain one, and this one is more of like that holiday vibe, so. Next candle is Fresh Balsam. I love the smell of like a fresh Christmas tree. I even put like those little things in my Christmas tree to make it smell like a real one, even though it's not a real one. Um, yeah, this just smells like a fresh cut Christmas tree. I think I'm gonna burn this like now because so good. It smells like Christmas to me. That's what Christmas smells like. Um, this, the notes on this are woodland balsam, crisp eucalyptus, um, fair branches, cedar wood with essential oils. It smells like a Christmas tree. Classic. The last one is under the Christmas tree. So this is, again is kind of like that same scent. I like to kind of get similar scents so I can burn it throughout the house and like it won't smell so different. It's kind of like that same family of scents. Um, so it doesn't smell like off in the house. Um, the notes on this are balsam, berries, vanilla, eggnog, sage leaves, and essential oils. Mm, it smells good too. So it's like, 
it smells like the fresh like Christmas trees, but it has like a little bit of sweetness in there, just like a hint. Mm, I like that. So yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to burn these. And guys, um, take advantage of I don't know what's going on right now, but take advantage of the um, candle day. I have to look up when that's gonna be. Um, I'll probably put that right here for you guys when candle day is. Um, but yeah, it's, it's usually in December, and you get amazing deals. I think the candles are like nine or seven dollars or something. So definitely take advantage of that, especially for gift giving. Right, so my next recommendation for a gift is this little Tutty jacket. I love this jacket. I got it last season and it's on Amazon. So you know the price point is great. Um, I love the color because it's such like a fall winter brown color and it just it looks like a teddy bear and guys when you wear it it feels like a teddy bear it feels so soft and it's so warm too so it it's not just like cute it actually like helps with like keeping you warm it's so nice and snuggly guys ah, i would love to receive this as a gift so yeah it's on amazon and um fairly priced so yeah if you know that somebody needs a jacket or you know you just want to get them something cozy i definitely recommend this teddy jacket and i think it comes in different colors it comes in black as well as brown so i'll have that link below speaking of warm and cozy what girl doesn't need a good robe like we love robes so i got this one and it's off of amazon i am gifting this i'm not gonna say who they might be watching the video but uh <laughs> Oh my God, guys, this feels so soft. It's so soft, um, super soft. This one has pockets and it's longer. I'll just go ahead and open it up. I'll fold it again, but. So it has a pocket and it's a long rope. Oh my God, guys, this is so soft. Wow, um, yeah, so again, this is a great gift. It's on Amazon, fairly priced. Um, and you know, it's great for any woman in your life. If you want to give this to like, again, a mom, a mother-in-law, um, a sister, a, you know, a friend, I think this would make a great gift. To go along with the robe, um, what would be better than a pair of nice house slippers? I put these in my Amazon favorites as well, but they're so soft and comfy. Um, I definitely recommend these um, and I'll have them linked below as well so you can kind of give like a something a little bit more than just a robe. So robe and nice cozy slippers. All right, so my next gift is kind of like a bundle. I would probably give this as maybe like put it in like a cute basket um, and have it, give it to them that way or have it all wrapped together. I want to just give, you could give one of these things, but I feel like if you give it like together, it kind of, I don't know. I feel like it's like a, a bundle type of gift. So um, this is a charcuterie um, board, um, but you can put anything on here if you want to put fruits, cheeses, meats, um, whatever. So the thing I like about this one is that when you open it, it has the knives, the you know the wine, the cheese slicer, and um, you know the spread, a knife for spreading, a knife and a, a little pick for you know getting certain things. Um, it's just convenient that it comes with that um, and it slides in and out. And I like the fact that usually when I use this, I'll put like my meats, my cheeses, fruits, whatever I'm doing on this space. And then the space around it, I'll put crackers and uh, pieces of bread or whatever I, I want to accompany that. I'll leave this part open because this part is when, you know, you can just have this out. So really convenient. Um, you know, charcuterie is becoming a huge thing. Um, so I definitely recommend um, looking into this. Okay, so along with that, I would recommend doing an electric wine opener. And this, guys, has saved me because when I used to put like the cork thing in there, like I would just either, I couldn't get it out right or pieces of the cork would fall into the wine. Like it was just a mess. So I'm so grateful for this electric wine opener. And it has a little light and then it just screws in from right there, so. All right, so the next thing, I'll, along with the wine, the cheese board, or the charcuterie board, and the wine opener would be a decanter. Um, I think this decanter is super cute. Um, so what this does is aerates the wine, um, makes it taste a little bit smoother. Um, if you just like have it out for a little bit and then you drink it, if you pour it in here. I like the design of this one. 
It is a little bit hard to clean, I will say that, just because it has like such a narrow opening right here. Um, but it's just really cute, and you know, I only use this like once or twice a year, like on a special occasion or something, so I really like it. It's cute, and it's cute to like just have on display like on your bar or something. Um, and I would also throw in really cute wine glasses. Um, I did have some in my uh, October favorites, um, and you can get those off of Amazon, and I'll list those down below as well. But this would be like a super cute like bundle gift for somebody that's into wine. All right, so if you have someone in your life that is a skincare lover, um, I definitely re I recommend gifting a facial steamer. Um, again, you can find this off of Amazon, so super affordable. And this is just to kind of steam your face before you go in with like a mask or any sort of deep cleansing treatment to help open up your pores. So that's what it's for. Um, and this would make a great gift for, again, anyone on your list that is somebody that's into skincare. So some things that I think are worth looking into getting um, that I don't have physically with me um, are some gifts that are at Sephora right now. So skincare is expensive and every girl loves skincare. Um, you know, every girl wants to take care of their skin. So I definitely recommend um, first finding out the type of skin that that person has. So if they're dry or oily and then according to that, getting them like a nice bundle. And they have so many good ones right now. They have a Sunday Riley um, go to bed with me anti-aging. It's like a whole routine and Sunday Riley is usually pretty expensive. So it's valued at $193 and the whole kit is $93 only. Um, I think that's a super good deal. And so does uh, First Aid Beauty. So First Aid Beauty, it's $127 value for 50 bucks. That's really, really good. Um, and then one really cool thing that you can find at Sephora is their Sephora Favorites. Um, it's like a sample box with different samples of a bunch of perfumes. Um, and you give that to the person and then out of all those perfumes, whichever one they like best, there's a, like a little um, ticket or brochure in there and then you, they can go to the store and exchange that in for a full size bottle. So, and it's included in the price. And I think the price of that is $68 and it's $124 value because we all know fragrance is, is expensive. So that's a really good deal that they get all those minis and then they get to pick their favorite and get like a full size bottle. So yeah guys, that was my gift guide for 2020 for the women in your life. Of course, we do like finer things as well, like a nice handbag or, um, you know, a nice piece of jewelry, but um, this is something just a little bit outside of the box. And if you're, you know, um, trying to give something within a reasonable price range, these are great gifts. Um, I'm sure anyone would be happy to get any one of these gifts. So um, thanks for watching guys. And if you like this video, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't, please hit that red subscribe button. Thanks guys and happy holidays. Bye.